Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. Today I want to talk about what to do with spring flowering bulbs after they're done blooming. So these right here are some of the Labelle Epoch tulips that I planted last fall. We did a video about it. They did beautifully. In fact, I posted tons of pictures because they were so gorgeous. But now they're at a point where they're looking a little unsightly. So what do we do? Can we take them all the way out? Do I have to look at this all season? So what I'll do first is I'll go in and deadhead them. I'll just take out the bloom stalk. That's totally fine. So I'll just go down to the first set of leaves and just pop off the bloom stalk like that, but I leave the foliage, and this is super important. You wanna leave all of that green, healthy foliage because they're still growing, they're still working, they're still absorbing sunlight, and the sunlight turns to energy, which goes down and feeds the bulb for next year. Now, the foliage will only remain like that for just a couple of weeks, and it'll start to yellow, it'll start to kind of flop over. At that point, you can cut it off at the ground. In fact, I've got an example of it right to my right. Let's move over there. So see right here, we've got some tulip leaves that are starting to yellow. That means the bulb is done. It's starting to go dormant because it is starting to get a lot warmer outside and these bulbs will go dormant during the hot summer months. So what I can do is take my pruners, go right in, cut them off at ground level. We don't have to look at this for the whole season. So I will leave all the rest of these until they start to do this because I want to give my bulbs the best chance I possibly can. Uh, it looks like there's a few more I can clean off, but it's just kind of a gradual process. So as far as fertilizing go, there are kind of three different camps on this topic. Some people will go in and compost, put like a layer of compost or mulch over them in the fall. Always a good idea to do that. That compost or mulch works its way down into the soil and can kind of um, condition the soil and feed whatever plants it's around. And then some people like to fertilize early spring and others late spring. In fact, I have some bulb tone here, which I like to use. The directions on the back of this bag actually recommend that you fertilize right when the bulbs are done blooming, which I think would work if you're on it. If you're watching those flowers and you're ready to fertilize right when they're done. I tend to want to fertilize a little bit earlier, so I'm kind of in the early spring camp because I feel like with an organic fertilizer that's a slower release, I want them to have enough time to absorb those nutrients and utilize them. Even though those spring flowering bulbs, all the energy they need to bloom is stored in that bulb from the previous year, they're still expending a ton of energy. And I like to give them a little bit of extra nutrients, a little bit of extra help. That way it ensures a really good stand of flowers from year to year. So as a recap, I'd say fertilize early spring, kind of when they start putting on foliage growth or even when they're blooming and then deadhead them when they're done. You don't have to do that step. You can leave them up. That's personal preference on my part, but you wanna make sure to leave that foliage until it's yellow and dying back. At that point, you can cut it off at the ground and you're done. Always a good idea to add a layer of compost or mulch in the fall and that's it. Hope this video was helpful guys and we will see you in the next one. Bye.